We have relocated our groove after getting kicked out of the park at this nice woman's house who offered her wonderful garden, whoop, her wonderful backyard for us all to groove in. And this person is Linda, and here is Linda. Hi. I want to say thank you, Linda, for your help. Oh, you're so welcome. And I'm blessed are, you're all here. Well, I'm glad Woo. we have the whole globe will be in your backyard now. That's all right. And we appreciate your we appreciate house. appreciate you all coming. And thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Groove you're on. welcome anytime. <laughs> and let's get Andrew Drummond over here, and we will be grooving in a minute. So thanks for coming, and enjoy the groove. Be one, and enjoy it. Bye. I'm not bye. Just stay here, and I'll, I'll be right behind you. So this is this woman's great backyard that she's offering for us every week to have. So we're all here. Yay, Linda. Yay, Linda. <laughs> So let's just all try to do our best, you know, be mindful of that. And, you know, I just got a new contract myself working Woo! at a, yeah, working at a, um, a native rehab center. So it's like a dream come true. It's with Apache people and, and Navajo people. And it's like my optimal gig that I would ever want, the best gig. And uh, so I don't want to, you know, anything to happen to me or Monica and keep that from happening. So let's just be mindful of keeping each other safe and do our best and we'll have a good time, huh? Sound pretty good? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's all remember to thank Anthony, Andrew for leading us through this drum circle time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and uh, if you guys brought any kind of offering or anything like that, we'll go ahead and split it with Linda. We'll give her a little something, you know, to help out with her toilet paper and water and all that. So that helps out, you know? And uh, yeah, so when we were over there, when we were rudely interrupted, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, we were talking about what a drum circle is and a drum circle is just a place for us to connect as a community, you know, to reach out and connect and to have that interaction between the eternal in a certain sense, right? Because if you hit the drum, that's now existing. It's not like it's going to end. It's just gonna change, that's it. So when we come together in this way, we have a way of connecting with one another, building community, and helping each other through all the struggles of life. You know, myself, this has been my greatest teacher, the drum, and, uh, you know, to invite you to that place of exploring rhythm, exploring music. And also, you know, we do have a, a really great singer here today. Hopefully she will sing a song for us. That would be great. And I won't put her on the spot, but she's sitting over there with the beautiful drum from Brazil, and her name is Cleo. <laughs> So maybe we could get her to sing a song. We don't know yet, but it sure would be nice if you did. And uh, we would love that. So I, I think that, you know, now that we feel comfortable and we have enough space to spread out here, I mean, look at all this other land we have over here. I think it would be okay if we met here. I'm going to talk to Linda, but next week too, you know, and, and start doing it over here until Beautiful. things get a little bit better for us, you know. And uh, maybe we'll try to organize coming over and raking the yard or something like that to help them. Yeah. You know, that would be good, you know. Yeah. If, you know, anybody would like to volunteer and help out with that. Picking the fruit, like yeah. little chihuahua Tootsie Rolls, but <laughs> no, I'm sure that you, you, she would appreciate that. That's, I know my, my chihuahuas have, you know, I don't ever bother with it because it, eventually if it rains enough, it just dissolves. <laughs> but, you know, probably, probably want to pick it up, you know. So that might be a good idea. And on that subject. Yeah, on that subject. <laughs> Get into a simple rhythm here. I, I feel like since we've been, you know, kind of scattered and everything, it might just be nice to do some freeform playing. So yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to establish a place of agreement. The place of agreement is the place of power. When we agree, there's power. When we don't agree, there's no power. That's how it is in relationships too, right? You ever have a relationship with somebody and there's no agreement? The next thing you know, you start living out a zero-sum game. Mm. Any of you ever hear of this? This is where you're in competition with the people you love. And you start to create a confirmation bias. And next thing you know, your beloved comes in with a cup of coffee, hands you a cup of coffee, and you say to yourself, oh, he just doesn't think that I can do anything right. Right? She, does, she doesn't believe that I can provide for a family. She doesn't even know me. That's what's
what you start telling yourself, even though all they're doing is giving you a cup of coffee. That's it. There's no strings to it. But because you've created that place of, of disagreement, it's showing up in the way you feel things. I mean, look at our government right now. They can't agree on anything. There's no mm. power. So we get the opportunity to practice agreement. Yes. And agreement is just like this. Look. Yeah. Thank you. Take me home to the place I remember, West Virginia.
bang the drum and shoot from the seat, <laughs> but there's no drum. There's no drum when it has a broken drum head. <laughs> Grab me some drums here, or a drum. Try this, still grooving, just the one. Oops. Dropped my phone. Found a better place for it. Andrew out there. They're cooking now. Yeah. Hey. Woohoo. Oh, that was a good one. That's good. Really good. There he is. There's Andrew. Right there. I'll be playing over here. On this side. And different kinds of ceremonies and listen to them talk about the loneliness, you know, talk about the depression or whatever it is that they're going through. You know, not to to give everybody that that space of just giving it to you, but to give it to you, let you connect to it and then use it to make a sound on the drum, you know? Like that's an important part of this. Finding, you know, how to tap into your feeling. You know, when you gig and you play mu music all the time, you know, you could be up there and you could be singing, Oh my brown-eyed girl. But in the back
back of your head, you're doing your laundry. You know? You're like not present with it. And you know it more than anybody else knows it, but still everybody knows it. You know? It's like, how do you get to that place of connecting to the vibration? Because your emotions, right, they're just like apps on the phone. You, if you go to your, your bank account, you're going to find out what your finances are. You know, if you go to your Spotify, if you go to your Pandora, you're going to listen to music. You know, but how do you tap into them? You know what I mean? That's what's important. And the way that you tap into them is by putting yourself in that space. How do you put yourself in the space of peace? Is there a program in your life, a place you remember peace? So maybe we can do that right now. We can just come into a conscious place of connecting to what I like to call these vibrational programs, you know? Because that's really what they are to me. They're vibrational programs. It's not just the word, but it's the feeling of it. So let's all do this together, okay? Put your hands on your drum, and I want you to just close your eyes. Okay, and start to think about a place in your life. You know, maybe it's uh, back home smelling your mama's biscuits or, or tortillas. Or maybe it's, you know, a, a sacred place that you go to in nature. And just let yourself be there in that place of the peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, that place that the Creator has for you. it in your heart and you feel it, maybe you can just give us a little sound on the drums. 